surprisingly light at just over 7,700 pounds. Cougar 30 RKD. We've had a lot of requests for this one. I think a lot of people are going to like seeing this thing roll in here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We have a king bed slide, amazing closet storage space, full-time RV warranty, zero to 100 degree rated, in command in a partridge in a pear tree, even uh, auto leveling. So it's big enough to be park friendly, especially with no slides on the door side, but light enough to be able to get from here to there. So I personally think this would be an absolutely awesome snowbird, sunbird kind of camper right here. We're gonna see a ton of good qualities of this RV. One of its very best though, is that it's an awesome destination floor plan. Rear and front kitchens are fantastic for destination use. But between that 7,700 pounds and the fact that you can actually navigate this thing with the slide closed and access the sink, the bathroom, the bed, the countertop, the all, like almost all of the kitchen storage, including the fridge. That is one of its better qualities right there. This is a rare find. It is hard to find rear kitchens with a travel accessible fridge. But hey, here's Cougar, killing it. And I don't know what it is about this. I, there's just something like it feels very warm and classic and welcoming and familiar, but there's also something very fresh about it. I really, I really like this model. The big vaulted ceiling and those panoramic, just giant windows really open it right up in here. And right away we're greeted with uh, one of the first uh, pieces of optional equipment that you'll see on this camper within this video, and that is that uh, theater seat right there. It's still a manual ripcord style recline, but it does have heat massage and USB plugs to keep your devices charged up. Uh, those big windows once again letting in just a flood of light, and all of that lighting in the top of the slide right there, all six of those lights are on a dimmer switch. So if you want to have some kind of evening lighting, or we're going to see this kind of in sleeper mode in just a minute here in the living room, and you want, uh, you know, the uh, just kind of a little bit of a night light or dimming effect, you have it. There's storage below the dinette, but that doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of the storage and prep space of this thing. This has one of the most expansive kitchen areas and most functional I've seen in a very long time. I am a sucker for that big rear wall window. I love uh, a, a big window in a camp in, in an RV's kitchen like that. You can also see how there's super easy reach appliance outlets all over the place there. Household, USB plugs, all kinds of stuff. High rise uh, faucet over that stainless steel sink. We have an eight cubic foot fridge freezer for cold storage plus a mini fridge outside because hidden behind basically this uh, electric space heating fireplace is a little outdoor mini camp kitchen. So you have an inside fridge, an outside fridge, inside cooking, outside cooking. That's a space heater. And if you're sitting at the theater seat, like where I'm standing right now, uh, you are just sitting at Boardwalk and Park Place. I don't know if there's a better no neck wrecker entertainment center than this thing right here. And what's so smart is how the kitchen storage actually starts over here with the entertainment center. Instead of there being like a, uh, a, a disconnect where the t entertainment stops and the uh, kitchen starts, they kind of overlap and they mix with one another and they create just this huge pantry tainment storage center that we're looking at right there. And let me get on a little bit more of an angle so you can see that is quite deep. That shelf in there is no joke. That is super handy. Big, deep, full depth cabinet above, since it's not fighting for a uh, space where the TV is located. All the cabinetry is pocket screwed, hardwood cabinet door frames. And once again, remember, this RV does have a full-time RVing warranty with it. That is something that just almost doesn't exist in the travel trailer business. It's an exceptionally uncommon quality. But back here in the kitchen proper, uh, it's just anywhere you see countertop space, there's drawers or there's cabinets with shelves in them or with the exception of under the sink where they leave it wide open for stuff like big waste baskets. It's absolutely awesome. Now, all of the countertop space in here uh, is a sealed edge pressed membrane material in this kitchen so that uh, if you're splashing water on that stainless sink, no big deal, man. Good overhead cabinet space here. And something I forgot to turn on earlier is that cool accent light right there, uh, right in front of. Like there's a neat little sort of 
three-dimensional lighting effect you get when you kick that thing on right there, and it has such a cool aesthetic quality to me. And I think personally, that's an awesome little light when you first wake up in the morning, or if it's like late at night and you're having trouble sleeping, or you need to wake up and get a drink or sneak some of last night's leftovers or something like that. It's a cool little evening navigation light. It gives you an awesome point of reference. Flip it around the other direction. Once again, direct viewing entertainment, which is exactly why we like to put a theater in this instead of a hide -a bed um, If we take a look, you can actually see you've got those nice wooden, uh, you know, night privacy shades. Those theater seats, although not a hide -a bed they can lay down pretty flat. They're not bad for a nap, or little kids don't mind sleeping in those things is something that we found quite a bit. And of course, the dinette can fold down into a sleeper. So it's a couple's coach, first and foremost, but it does have good guest entertainment, and I think enough guest sleeping capacity in the current arrangement here. But I'm always open to feedback. Do you think we went the right way putting a theater seat in this, or do you think we should have put a hide to bed? If you feel like leaving us a comment, definitely appreciate it. Now, uh, the TV you saw when we were in pantry tainment mode, it can kick out nearly perpendicular. But uh, if you want to just kind of angle it slightly, you can see it from the dining area, or you can really hard crank it. You can be cooking in the kitchen, look over your shoulder, and have a good look at everything. Electric heating fireplace is another one of those options that we've applied to this thing here. And uh, the, the extra heat without burning up your propane is something I think a lot of people like. Something I haven't had a good chance to really look at here, too. Right by the door is this handy little stand. And personally, I think you could, you know, stack some shoes in there. It gives you place right by the door to sit down to put on your shoes and I love the dual windows skirting either side of the main entry door which itself has a full viewing window in it. Now you can see that this is an easy dual entry bed and bath arrangement that is a porcelain foot flush stool as well and something I personally really like and I know that opinions can vary on this but I really like that they went with a just straight clear shower door but an accented shower surround panel. That is a very easily overlooked feature here that I think was really intelligently done because it still gives the bathroom a good look. It's very aesthetically pleasing, but it also uh, is now, it looks and feels larger with that clear door. And that countertop right there is the same sealed edge material that we saw in the uh, kitchen, so they match there. There's, uh, and there is a little towel rack above uh, the toilet in that area. Uh, I wanted to swing us through here for a couple reasons. First of all, you can see uh, the doorway, which doesn't tell you much. What you can't see though is that it's fully framed out. They have like two by three studs framing out all of their doors, and that's not just a cougar thing, that's a uh, pretty common keystone thing. This has the uh, in-command system like all cougars. So anything you can do off this panel, tell me my battery box is low, which I already knew that, but... <laughs> The, uh, it's cool that it monitors that, but anything you can do off this pad, you can do uh, off your phone. But what's neat is you don't have to use that pad strictly for things like, uh, you don't have to get up and down from your chair every time you want to do something like flick on the lights. Because there's a dedicated bedroom light switch as well as another living room dedicated light switch uh, on the rear kitchen wall. You may have noticed uh, the RV that we're looking at today has the bedroom air conditioner added. That's another optional piece of equipment that really maximizes the cold capacity in this. And since this uh, is a travel trailer that doesn't have fifth wheel hitch weight problems, they went with a full three foot deep bed slide, giving us bigger side breeze windows, as well as the fact that, that uh, the king bed that all Cougar trailers have right here, you now have more room at the foot of that. So if you want to actually be able to stand and get dressed, you have tons of space for it. That bed is easy lift. There is full storage below it, by the way. Speaking of storage below, this has a full pass-through storage that runs under this front closet which is a really good thing. Like, there's a few brands that are very good about that. Freedom Express is a brand that's very good about that. They just don't do a lot of bedroom slide travel trailers. Cougar doesn't do a ton of them. But uh, brands, it's just, it, to me, it's a good indicator of a brand that is very consumer-focused because it's easier to not build that pass-through, but it's storage space that you're going to want. Perfect place here if you want to put a TV directly across from the bed or you can enjoy that breeze through window. And down below, there's a pretty healthy sized dresser to keep all of your, you know, folded clothes in a place other than just laying on the closet floor. Sinking down through the floor here into the front pass-through, first of all, it has 
a front pass-through, which is something that a lot of front bedroom travel trailers lack. Those switches that we saw there in the distance on the opposite side, that would be uh, the mounting point for a charge controller if you utilize the roof solar prep package on this Cougar. Your 12 volt tank heaters are there as well as your auto leveling controls. Motion lighting right there above the brain unit for the in-command. Neat note on that in-command system, there's actually a set of switches right on that brain unit right there where if you want to, uh, you can like operate the awning or the jacks or the slides right from here, from that baggage door location. So you don't necessarily always have to go in or out or grab your phone and rely on the Bluetooth or anything like that. Now, uh, a lot of Cougars, almost all of the Cougar travel trailers actually, built in the Midwest have a front windshield. Western Cougars do not have that feature. Um, they just, they lack the supplier for it basically. Sometimes people go, why do some have a windshield and some don't? It's, it's based on where they're built. Um, this model though will never have a front windshield because it's a front closet. So the only thing that you'd be staring at is Uncle Larry's sundresses, which, you know, that's an entirely different topic for an entirely different day. Um, now, I've mentioned before, these are, you know, hot, cold camp rated. Uh, they're rated for full-time RVing, which is uh, just an unbelievably uncommon quality in travel trailers. It's one of the things we really like about having the Cougars here. But there's a ton of things they do for that heating, cooling package. Um, and I, I've talked about them quite a bit, but there's one I always seem to miss. And that's the fact that these have a full two-inch sidewall versus an inch and a half ultralight wall. And that's part of where I start to call this Cougar like an ultralight plus. It kind of looks and feels inside. It feels a lot like a Passport or something, different color patterns obviously, but everything is bigger, larger, thicker, heavier, bulkier. It's a little more money, it's a little more weight than, uh, than a true ultralight, but not much in either case. So we've got the thicker walls, We've got radiant barrier all over the place to keep the sunshine out of this thing. You look up top, you can see white AC shrouds helping uh, keep the air unit or units, as is the case in this one, the way that we've optioned it, um, running more efficiently. It's also got, you know, enclosed forced air heated underbelly with more radiant stuff and 12 volt tank heaters. So hot, cold, doesn't matter. We already mentioned how it has that uh, full front pass through. Right next to that is a side solar prep plug. That's the little guy right there. Um, and remember, this has a separate roof solar prep as well, so you're kind of dual solar ready. And then we have a handy little, uh, you know, docking station here that is acting as one of two of this camper's camp showers. You could have a little garden hose sprayer handle hooked up to that one right there. Magnet holdbacks on any of these exterior baggage doors and slam latches make for easy one-hand operation. So you have separate pass-through and headboard underbed storage, which is really cool that instead of getting one, you're getting both. Also, before we jump back to that rear corner, I want to point out all Cougar travel trailers with the exception of the Little 22 RBS, because it's too small to physically accept this system, have standard automatic leveling. So not only is this uh, just push button easy, it is incredibly stable when you get it set. It feels like uh, like you're just walking around your house floor. There's just no give, no wiggle. You don't hear the window treatments going tink, 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 tink against the wall the whole time. And as I've mentioned uh, a couple times, so just so you can see it, enclosed heated belly, 12 volt tank heaters, proven uh, cold camp rated. Not just promises, but proven. And that's a big differentiator for me. And whether it's that big rear kitchen viewing window, the maximum size panoramic slide view windows, all of which open for airflow, or those breeze through bedside windows, you can see how they're all tinted to give you privacy and to keep the sunshine out. Reverse travel lighting built right into those taillights, which is really handy if you do choose to utilize that backup camera prep that we see there uh, just below that top marker light. That's also an easy angle to get to see the really severely double vaulted nature of uh, Cougar's roofing. And um, I tell you, when I've, I, obviously if you, watch, if you watch my videos, you know I walk all over every roof that I, I really can. Cougar stuff, I don't know if it's because of the vault distributing my weight or whatever, they feel so rock solid up on the roof. I really like uh, there. If you're going to get up on a roof, I think Cougars are a really good one to get up on. Uh, standard two inch receiver hitch on the back here. So if you want to do things like add a bike rack, you can without voiding your factory warranty. 
Handy, uh, remember I said this had two outside camp showers. This would be, I suppose, number two, but very handy to have it over here on the campsite for a little bit of campsite cleanup, especially when it's right next to our little camp kitchen, which is hiding behind that entertainment center. This is something the Cougar originally accidentally stumbled onto the fact that they could do this on, I believe it was the 29 BHS uh, bunkhouse. They have since kind of standardized uh, the, the shape and the character of this thing, and it works extremely well for them. You get that screaming hot burning Capitol Grill right next to that little outdoor fridge, which is giving us a total of over 10 cubic foot of cold storage, which is pretty darn fantastic. Then you take a, a look at things like the Moride stable steps over here, that anti-slam door and the larger uh, handle for easy come and go. And over there under that uh, easy tilt power awning, which has lighting, of course, we also have some outside TV hookups in case you really just want to set up like uh, a sweet little, I don't know, campsite outdoor entertainment station. There's Other than the bathroom, there's not a whole lot of reason to even need to go inside this camper during the day. Well, we've really kind of already talked about a little bit anything I'm going to mention up here, so I'm going to be very brief up on this roof. Very walkable. I've talked about the double vaulted nature, making it distribute weight better. We've talked about the optional second air conditioner right up there in the bedroom. Um, the uh, radiant barrier below us here to help keep the sunshine out. You see those white hockey puck things? Those are air vents to allow the hot air to escape when it is beaten on the top of the trailer. That is our roof solar prep plug. And I think we've already talked about the partridge in the pear tree. So, if you like what you see here, and if you appreciate the efforts that we're going, um, you know, give our team a call. If you have questions, you know, we're willing to do what it takes to earn your business, your trust, your confidence here. That's why we're going out of our way to already educate you on this trailer and anything else that you're looking at here. We are in a sea of inventory. Normally we're around 500 RVs. We are currently closer to 600, approaching 700 RVs in stock and immediately available. So if you'd like to know anything about any of these things, all you gotta do is give us a call here at Halo RV, and I don't care where you live, all we ask for is the fair opportunity to earn your business. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone. And that's used, but there goes a cougar right there. Holy cow, they are rolling out of here today.